Bolivia is full of rich cultural diversity, a country home to over three dozen indigenous groups, with a demographic makeup of 55% Amerindian, 30% Mestizo, and 15% European population. Although Spanish is spoken by 80% of Bolivians, the native languages and cultural practices of the predominant Aymara and Quechua indigenous groups are still well preserved and widespread in Bolivia. Yet, there is a very unique and ancient group of peoples nestled away in less than a dozen small villages of the Andean mountains north of the capital city of La Paz, whose culture is little shared with the rest of the world. These people have formed an itinerant group of healers called the Cayoayas, whom have developed a wealth of verbal knowledge since their pre-Incan roots. The extensive medical knowledge and holistic healing rituals of the Cayoayas have lasted centuries, passed down patrilinearly for generations. The Kayawais possess a secret language known only to the few who exhibit mystical healing abilities, a language only used in utterances during healing ceremonies called Machuai Huai, or the language of the people in Quechua. A typical Kayawaya doctor will be familiar with at least 300 plant species, whereas a specialist may use up to 600 different plant species in their healing practices. They collect these plants from wild growths, drying and preparing them into mixtures used for healing teas or pomades. The Kayawaya doctors are known for their nomadic lifestyle, leaving their wives and children behind in their native Bolivian villages in the Andes to travel extensively on foot throughout the high and lowlands of South America and into Central America. The Kayawayas have a rich history, from playing roles as healers to Incan royalty, to their arrival in the early 20th century at the site of the Panama Canal, where they reportedly played an instrumental role in curing tropical diseases such as malaria that were plaguing the construction workers at that site. On November 7, 2003, UNESCO held a conference in Paris and established the first international recognition of the Cayoayas by proclaiming the scientific and cosmological knowledge of the Cayoaya culture as one of 28 masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. Today, however, the Kayawaya people face many challenges in preserving their treasured culture and medical knowledge. Climate change has lengthened the dry season in the Altiplano, causing the land to be less sustainable for food and livestock, contributing to a real economic crisis across the high plains of Bolivia. As a result, urban migration has been on the rise, and many young Kayawayas are choosing to try to find work in the major cities rather than remain in the rural villages of their ancestors and learn the healing craft of their fathers. El primer referente importante que hay que considerar para, lo, para entender los callaguayas es Tiahuanacu. Yeah. ¿no? Tiahuanacu se forma eh, en el entorno del lago Titicaca y alcanza a cubrir todo el altiplano, ¿no? parte de, de, la, de las montañas um, interandinas, eh, llegando de, hasta el norte de la Argentina y Chile y demás. Entonces, el siglo XII eh, parece que hay una gran sequía uh -huh. y además los pastores aymaras, Van presionando Tiahuanacu y todo, todo esta, digamos, este gran ámbito político se fragmenta en diferentes señoríos. ¿Eran guerras o...? Eh, no. En parte sí. los, los aymaras sí. eran pastores guerreros, sí. ¿no? con, con piedras, Ajá. con ondas, ¿no? y como, como caminaban con ganado, entonces eh, también su, su arma era, era la, la pi, eh, mientras que Tiahuanacu era una cultura... Eh, mucho más, eh, digamos, refinada, eh, agrícola, eh, eh, digamos, con muchos conocimientos astronómicos, sí. médicos, que los aymaras no. Here we arrived in the city of Tiwanaku, the center of the uh, Tiwanaku culture. 
The Kaiwaya people have been genetically linked as descendants of the people of the pre-Incan culture of Tiwanaku. The majority of the evidence that remains for this culture is located at the archaeological site in the capital city of Tiwanaku, located in western Bolivia near the southeastern shore of Lake Ticaca and about 44 miles west of La Paz. This capital city dates back as early as 1500 BCE, with earliest beginnings as a small agriculturally based village. From 300 BCE to 300 CE, Tiwanaku is believed to have been a popular pilgrimage destination due to the city's prestige as a moral and cosmological center. In conjunction with the expansion of astronomical knowledge and social development, the refinement of a distinctive raised field farming technique known as Llanos de Mojos that allowed for a great increase in agricultural production led to a period of rapid population growth in Tiwanaku between 600 and 800 CE. During the Middle Horizon period of 600 to 1000 CE, the city of Tiwanaku formed a large urban center, and the Tiwanaku civilization spread throughout the Indian region, becoming an important power along with the neighboring Huari in western Peru. However, climate changes in the Titicaca Basin around 1000 CE led to severe internal pressures. The drought caused a severe drop in crop production, and the now immense Tiwanaku population was difficult to support. Finally, the aggressive Aymara people dealt the definitive blow, as their advance into the Titicaca Basin led to the downfall of the capital city and the fragmentation of the Tiwanaku civilization. El mapa. Este es el, el lago Titicaca, mm -hmm. ¿no? y en, en todo el entorno y todo el altiplano se van a formar eh, señoríos mucho menores. ¿no? Toda la, la élite de Tiahuanaco y demás se refugia en la cordillera de Apolobamba. Sí, y esta parte de aquí ¿no? vendría a ser los Cañahuayes. Kayawaya people now occupy the present-day Bautista Saavedra region of the La Paz province. Today, this is part of the protected area of the Cordillera Apolamba, northeast of Lake Titicaca. Prominent towns in this area include Chahaya, Tilinghuaya, Canlaya, Chuyina, Camlaya, Huatawata, Inca Roca, Amarete, Chari, Papamblanca, Chacapari, and Charasani with about 30% of each community coming from authentic Kayawaya families. However, the town of Curva has remained one of the most authentic Kayawaya towns, with 100% of the people coming from well-known healing families, and about 40% of which are doctors that practice herbal medicine and or perform rituals. It is important to distinguish communities of authentic Kayawaya descent, because beyond these towns, there is motivation for non-Kayawaya healers to claim to be a Kayawaya in order to exploit the prestige of this label. Curva is named due to the town's position on a curved mountainside. Casting a mystical site over Curva is Akamani, a mountain regarded as sacred to the Kayawayas. The town is 285 kilometers from La Paz, at an altitude of 3,740 meters, with a central plaza containing one store and one small restaurant. On steep paths leading away from the central square are rows of stone and concrete homes, with roofs most commonly constructed from straw or tin. Farm animals such as pigs, chickens, donkeys, and dogs walk freely around the streets. Curva is a very tight-knit community in which every townsperson knows each other and looks out for each other's well-being as if the town populace were one extended family. Social status is closely tied in with the healing practices of the Kayawayas, as the most respected members of the community are always the most knowledgeable and skillful healers.